So it seems that there's a bit of confusion surrounding the terms procedurally generated and AI generated. I just wanted to make a video to clear the air around these two things. Something important to note is that these things are actually extremely different. It's not exactly something you could compare. It's like comparing apples to Legos, they're just not the same. Now, when we say something is procedurally generated, we generally mean things like Minecraft worlds or the planets in No Man's Sky. The thing that really sets procedural generation apart is that it's created with set rules and uses algorithms. This means that procedural generation can really only achieve what it was programmed specifically to do. There's a couple of ways that developers can do this as well. Most times, procedural generation will be deterministic. This means that whatever results are created can be reproduced again and again. This can be done using a seed, for instance, like with Minecraft worlds. The worlds will be basically identical if you use the same seed. If you use the seed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on one machine, the exact same world will appear on another, and it's down to the biomes, mountains, ore spawns and caves. Nobody has to sit down and place each individual ore into the game, because that would just take an insane amount of time and would just kill Minecraft as a concept. That's why procedural generation was used. The other kind is just completely random, but within set parameters. A good example for this could be grass inside a game. It doesn't really matter if the grass follows the same seed for every computer, so we can just use completely random results for this, like location, rotation, the size of the grass, whatever. Although a lot of the time developers will just use a seeded approach because the results are guaranteed to look the same for everyone. To sum it up, procedural generation allows developers to make these massive worlds without having to handcraft each tiny element. You create the building blocks and then the algorithms you create will go away and create these worlds. Another reason is, say for instance, Minecraft for some reason had to build billions of these worlds. Where are we going to store all that information? It would probably turn the game from a relatively small file size to something that would need warehouses full of computers to even start to think about storing it. And to just show how predictable Minecraft worlds are when you have the seed, there are whole websites dedicated to showing you what a Minecraft world will look like before you even create it. Every Minecraft world already exists, and the seed is essentially a key to unlock the door to it. Okay, so now we've got that out the way, what is AI generation then? The term is thrown around pretty loosely, but in this case we're talking about machine learning, which tends to be trained on datasets of things like text, images, videos, and music. AI tends to be non-deterministic, meaning it will generate different results every time, even if you use the exact same prompt. This means on one machine you'd get one result, and on another you'd get a completely different result, even if you use the same prompt. And there are actually real-world examples of this happening with Google Search AI, which I'm pretty sure we've all seen at some point. Uh, we Google something, and Google shows an AI as the first result. And sometimes two people can Google the exact same thing, and it could show one wrong result and one right one. So a little PSA there to maybe just scroll down before coming to conclusions. AI uses something called probabilistic sampling to determine what it should say next. While procedural generation uses set rules, machine learning is more based on probability and chance. For instance, if the AI is trying to type, the knight enters the castle, it chose the word castle out of a small list of locations that would make the most sense. Something like the word banana would have an extremely low probability because a banana is an object, not a location. Castle makes the most sense because it's closely linked in with knights and is also a location that knights could go to. AI is pretty similar to us humans in the way that it bases its knowledge off of patterns it sees in the data it's fed. If you fed an AI a bunch of fantasy books, it would probably know how to write fantasy, even if you specifically didn't really create it to do that. The more data it eats, the more varied content it can produce. You'll hardly find any generative AI that's going to be used in games to do things like world creation or random dungeons, but you will find it used in the pre-production process to help with, you know, things like writing or concept art. If you do find AI in a game, it's most likely being used for things like character replies, or even text-to-speech voices for characters. It won't be used for something like world generation since the results cannot be guaranteed to be correct and great. 
AI is also pretty expensive performance-wise to run, and it would just be pretty dumb to use it for something like world generation, since that needs to be pretty simple and quick most of the time. So now we know what they both are, let's take a look at the key differences. Procedural generation is built on maths and algorithms, and set rules are created by the developer that these algorithms have to follow. Anything created with the seed will be the exact same on every device, and it tends to be pretty lightweight and doesn't require many resources to run. AI generation, on the other hand, is built on preconceived data and uses pattern recognitions to create new content. The devs also have a lot less control over what is produced. You can pretty much never get the same exact output. Oh, and it also uses a shit ton of power. Now, while they are very different, it doesn't mean that they can't work together. Here's an example. You could use procedural generation to create an entire city. It places the buildings, the streets, the signs, and the lamppost. This can all be done using an algorithm. It'd pretty much do all the blocking out work. And then you could use AI to come up with names for the streets, text for the signs and names of places. It could even texture the buildings and give everything color, whatever. This would pretty much create a completely random city every time you ran it. You just can't do this for procedural generation. It wouldn't be able to come up with names or texture the buildings completely randomly. You would have to create the building blocks for that. The main issue is that with the generative AI part, you can't guarantee that the names would be the same across different devices or even if you use the exact same prompt. But yeah, that's, I just kind of wanted to get over the differences between the two because sometimes I do see the two used in the same context and they're just not. The things you can do with procedural generation, you can't really do with AI. And then the things you can do with AI, you can't really do with procedural generation. They're different and they serve different purposes. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit more of a ramble than I wanted it to be, but uh, I just thought it could really help people out when talking about these things online.